The absence summary report in the SIS allows teachers to see a snapshot view of attendance patterns for their students and allows you to view whole class attendance information as well as individual student information about attendance patterns. To view absence summaries for class, first select the class you wish to view from the header. Then from the attendance section in the side menu, select on attendance and then absence summary. When you select on simple list, you'll see a listing of all of the students in the selected class, the number of days absent, and other information about their attendance patterns. You can modify the report time frame by choosing from the drop down menus just below the header at the top of the page. Once you have the date set that you wish to view, select on the Go button. To change the classes you wish to view, select from the drop down menu in the header, change the class, and again select on Simple List. From the Absence Summary screen, you can see individual student absences by selecting on their name. This will provide you with a comprehensive listing of all of the different absences that have been recorded for the students and shows you all of the different codes that may be used by you as the teacher or applied by your office staff. The absence summary report is useful for an individual student because it provides you with a snapshot view of the number of days a student has been absent and provides at the bottom of the screen a breakdown of the types of absences that the student has recorded. Absence summaries can also be printed or even emailed to the custodial guardian of the student or to the students themselves. To print absence summaries, select on the attendance category in the side menu, then select on print absence summary. You'll be asked to search for the name of the student that you wish to view and select on the Continue button to see the name of that student. Select next to the name of the student that you want to generate a printed report for, and then choose from the options at the top of the screen. You can modify the time frame for the report. The default setting is to print an absence summary for each selected student. If you select on the Print button on the right, the SIS will generate a printed report that can then be sent to the printer and shared as needed. You also have the option to email the absence summary, either to the individual student themselves or to their parents or custodial contacts. Once you've selected that option, there's a button that lets you send the emails in the far right side of the screen. Absence summaries are yet another tool in a teacher's toolbox that's been improved in the new SIS. With absence summaries, you can always see where a student stands with their attendance.